Right, so yeah, we're going to have a look at this, Lords of the Fallen. Um, this came out in October. A bit mixed reviews. Um, developed by Hexworks, published by CI Games. Uh, just to say thank you to Lurkit for the game key, much appreciated. As always, it doesn't affect any of my opinions I expressed during this video since they're my own. Um, so this is a Souls-like game. Um, it says with co-op, online PvP, online co-op. It will work with controller. I am probably... Am I going to play with controller? No, I'm going to play with keyboard and mouse, I think. Uh, so we are going to load this up uh, and see how we get on with it. I'm not great at souls like I do enjoy them, but uh, we'll see how this one goes. I I might have to lower my volume back down again. Taking a wee while to load Unreal Engine. <coughs> Party God. Well, there we go. The Party God's probably on holiday as usual. <coughs> of tyranny the demon god adir was finally overthrown by humanity hopefully it sounds okay though fear of his terrible power endured and so was formed the hallowed sentinels our duty being to stand vigil for signs of his return even exile to another realm could not silence the fallen god forever and in time Adir's malignant influence pervaded the world once more. In his hunger for vengeance, Adir orchestrated the return of his demonic... Great movie. Light hey, part. By shadow. How are you? And with it, hope. A new, grim champion arises. The Dark Crusader. And perhaps it will indeed come to pass. That only they who shun the light in order to fight the darkness possess the power to defy a god. You're keeping calm and coffee firing. Well, sounds good. If you're wondering what the glow is there, it's my heater. <laughs> All the butterflies. There we go. That was quite a good movie. I do like a good cutscene. I 
I think this is installed in my SSD drive. It should be. How is she doing? She being... Oh, Deirdre. Yeah, I'm not sure. So... <laughs> <laughs> Alexa and her. Hmm, I don't know that. Her stupid pickups. <laughs> she really doesn't pick me up sometimes, what I say. Can I just check if this is on my SSD drive? I usually install this these things on there. Yeah, it is. Right. Okay, we have, um, I think... I've got DLSS switched on. It's on balanced. Um, I've got it on high. I've switched off the motion blur because... I don't like motion blur. I could put it on ultra. We'll, we'll shove it up to ultra and keep motion blur off. I've lowered the music down. We'll leave it on Ultra and see what happens. Just check if it's kept that. It has. Right, new game. Ages pass, distorting self-delusion into faith, with few obtaining the revelations they so desperately seek. In a conflict between the divine, are mortals mere pawns? Whether the flesh of gods or death itself, all will be consumed. For she must feed. That's Deirdre. She must feed. Yeah, it's a Souls-like game part. Um, very much so. Boris, forgive me. I'd steer this weapon of deliverance to a worthier servant than I. Oh, look, he threw his lamp a turn into the crypt or somewhere with lots of dead bodies in it. Okay, we get to choose what we're going to be with dramatic music in the background. So we can be a hallowed knight. I will be thy name. Hallowed. Hallowed. Uh, that's from Dark Souls 2 as well, isn't it? Hollowing. A stalwart knight whose loyalty to the clerics and the hollowed sentinels is matched only by their determination to destroy a deer in the roger. Class focused on physical prowess bolstered by radiance. We're going to be playing this for a while. Um, probably longer than the hour. Um, so I have plenty of time left. I've only got like two, three more games that I could do first looks of this morning, so... We'll spend a fair bit of time on this one. 
Depending on how I get on, of course. Hey, we've got a, a Dangar Warwolf. <laughs> uh, a hardened champion from the land of Udiranger, Ud who has proven themselves worthy of their people's honored rank of Warwolf by completing the requisite ancient trial, one of which few survive. A devastating but lightly armored class driven by royal, raw strength for good or ill. Uh, we have a partisan. A dutiful Mornstead fighter whose sorrow at the ruination of their kingdom by occupying forces only fuels their defiant struggle in his name, whether fighting up close with their steel flail or from range with a crossbow, a strong and dependable all rounder. <coughs> We've got a Mornstead infantry. Foot soldier whose time in the mud and blood and tumult. So I have battle taught them the vague the values mm -hmm. start again eh? taught them the value of agility, speed and keeping the enemy at a distance. Class for those who favor dexterity and light defense over strength and bulkier armor. We have a ranger. A member of the well I like I like the look of him. A member of the leak band of rangers who patrolled the forests of the fief of Kingronger, before the terrible curse born of grief lay waste to their home. An accessible class, ideal for those who prefer versatility over a more focused approach. We've got an exiled stalker as an advanced class. I guess we're not playing this one today. A former imperial assassin. Their downfall and subsequent banishment from their homeland has made of them a nomadic cutthroat, killing swiftly and efficiently for nothing uh, more than coin. A challenging class to master, but also a lethally effective one. Uh, a wandering preacher whose unshakable faith. Mr. Preacher's been eating a lot. Um, whose unshakable faith in the divine will of Aureus guides their w way while they spread his holy light. A physically invulnerable class, reliant on radiance, whether for protection or searing the sinful flesh of heretics. We've got a pirate cultist. Can I actually click on these? No. I can't see what these items are. I would like to see what they are while I'm in here. What sort of face is that? Right. A fervent worshipper of a deer who has sworn to see the natural order finally restored and humanity's one true god return to his rightful place as their ruler. A high risk class, reliant on proficiency in Inferno. And we have the condemned, wretched prisoner, who has a bucket, <laughs> and he does actually have a bucket for th for using, who has suffered indescribable torments, whether there was ever any truth in their guilt or not, a class for those who would rage at fate and throttle adversity with unflinching blood-soaked hearts. We've got different body types. Does that just mean male or female? Sure. <laughs> I picked condemned. No! <laughs> That's, it doesn't say pick at Kaiser's risk. <coughs> I quite fancied this one. We've got a tomahawk. I like this hat.
Does it? It looks straight out of Bloodborne, does it? I quite fancy it. Well, we'll just go with this one. I like this heart. He's got some starting items, but I can't see what they are. What's P do? Okay, we'll just go with that. Right. Um, let's go for next. Oh, she's female. Okay. Right. Mm. I usually go for quite a heavy warrior. Um, or a caster. I'm quite heavily into magic on my Elden Ring character. Uh, so I can stay away from everything. Um, I just I quite like the look of her as she is. I might just leave her like that. Okay, I was just worried pressing the next if she was actually going to have any clothes on. <laughs> Muscular, large, or thin. Give her a bit more muscles. We'll leave her like that. Not a lot you can change. You're not sure about this because of the no bucket. I'm surprised there's not um, more options, really. You can't do it. You can't. Can we do much with the head? We can't, I suppose. Face texture. We've got different hairstyles. I need to get back to the one I had. That wasn't it. <coughs> Was that it? Yeah. It was that one, wasn't it? We'll stick with that one. She could have facial hair. Okay, we're going to go with that. Uh, we need tutorials. On or off? Yeah, we'll keep them on. Right, we need a name. I'm just going to go with my usual. <coughs> so you can't change if it's male or female then. I wonder if any of the other classes are... They looked more male, didn't they? I haven't changed their appearance. See if I pick a different class. They're all female, aren't they? Yeah, it's all females. I don't mind playing a female. I, I usually prefer playing the female characters. I've lost my... Oh no, there's my name. Usually body types now. Right. We can zoom in and out. Oh, there is an undress option, but we're not doing that here. Some YouTuber had a meltdown over this, okay. See, I, I quite often just play female characters. So. I don't see what the problem is, really. Law. 
the latest receiver of his grace. Great potential dwells within you, doubtless, for you to be chosen thusly. And so does Aureus wisdom guide my hand in the bestowment of this subsequent boon. That's a great heart he's wearing. Your flesh has been made sacrosanct with the mark of the Dark Crusaders. Prove yourself worthy of this gift. Seek me in the bowels of the bridge. Our work is of the greatest import. Yeah, yeah, part was. It's, it's good voice acting, isn't it? So far. Okay. We are in. <coughs> uh, we have some sort of... Um, we have our lantern at the other corner there. That's about the only thing that's hidden behind my camera. The defiled sepulchre, cur, sepulchre. It looks pretty, and it is running okay. And that's on ultra settings. She really needs to clean her axe, so look. It's a bit more or sharp in it. It doesn't look very sharp, does it? <laughs> it's nice with all the mist rolling across and the leaves falling down and the dripping from the ceiling. Little drip sound effects there in the background. Little drips in the water. Quick attack, heavy attack. Press or hold. So what happens if I do it? Oh wait. Whoa. Okay, we've got some sort of soul collection. We've got 87 of them. This is the brand new one uh, part. Yeah, I did see there was a 2014 one as well. Um, by the same people. But no, this is the brand new one. Doing some wiki crawling. <laughs> yeah. It's very nice looking. It's certainly it's running really well. Skull. Can I go up here? <coughs> he was actually, he was getting slowed down there in the water as well. Look. Just 
somebody in here. <coughs> oh, look, there's somebody over there. Okay, lock onto target with middle mouse button Z and X to switch targets. <coughs> okay, so we've got two guys here. At least. Yeah, just two. One, try and walk me. Some sort of crypt, is it? Or it's quite atmospheric with all the dripping and everything. Looks and sounds great. Here's hoping the actual gameplay. Yeah, I'm hoping the gameplay is good. V V to sprint? Why V? What does shift do? It's a bit of an odd key. Shift is like block. Uh, there's something in there. Vroom. <laughs> yeah. While moving forward, press V to sprint. Okay, and it stays on. Okay. I like all the skeletons everywhere. Can I smash that as well? While sprinting and F... F oh, right, there's a hole there, look. I think I need down there. There's something in there. To collect. We've got a Forsworn, whatever that is. I don't know how to get into my inventory. I? No? Hub? No? I'm not sure how to get into my inventory. Um, can I... I really need to... Alright, oh, there's my inventory. <laughs> I need a quick bio break. Um, I might get some fresh coffee. I shall be right back. Hey, back again. Found Baron and Luna. I get part. Okay, um Right, so we picked that up, so we need to go back out here, do we? The tutorial message is obviously set to come up when you enter an area. It doesn't remember that it's already shown them. Right, so we need to jump over this bit this time. Oh, just. <laughs> oh, somebody up there. Uh, when locked on, space to dash quickly around the character. Double tap to roll out of danger. Okay. What did it say here? Yeah, okay. Same as what I had before. Uh, escape for inventory, select the slot you want to modify with E, equip any gear. <laughs> okay, so here's our inventory. Um, got our arrows. 
You haven't picked up anything else. Grants 200 vigor, okay. What's this one do? Salts used to add fire damage to a weapon, okay. So we can enhance our weapon. I guess that runs out eventually. Uh, ammunition. Says we've got two of that. Oh. <coughs> oh, where did that bag go? There. Oh, and equip, okay. And uh, we've got our inventory. Okay, we've got an encumbrance thing on here as well, same as in Souls games. You can see all our stats. Not sure where the tinks are. Oh wait, so it changed our colour maybe. Oh wait. It's different. Be all in blue, look. <coughs> Press two to select range combat. Hot pink. <laughs> oh, you got to replay the whole of Alien. Uh, select two to select range combat. Press control. Use the equipped. I might write some of these controls down. Remember no swearing on my on my channel. Uh, please, thank you. You're gonna go back to lurking part on and off today cooking human food. Oh no, no crackers today, just human food. <coughs> um hot pink. I we'll have to have a look if we can get hot pink. <laughs> At least when you're replaying your um, alien isolation you'll know everywhere you can speed run through the first first half uh, well, I was writing this down two for ranged uh, CTRL to use they consume either ammunition or mana Well, it'll be like playing a new game. Sometimes it's nice like that. If you've forgotten everything. Uh, for bows, crossbows, throwballs, keep it pressed to stay in ranged mode, okay. Keep pressed. The quick access menu shows how to switch between ammunition types. Quick shot, aim down sights, okay. <coughs> We're watching from the shadows. Imagine strutting through a damp and dark dungeon with hot pink feathers. Yeah, that would be brilliant, wouldn't it? <laughs> right, so it wants me to use my bow. Okay, my bow is selected in the bottom corner there. And I am locked on. So I can do aim shot like that. Oh, I thought I would have killed him. I don't have that many arrows. There we go. Okay. 
Oh, there's a body up there. Come here. There we go. It looks like you have to be quite close to pick up the souls as well. That purple souls was there. But I didn't pick it up until I was really close. There wasn't any hot pink, was there? It was just dark colours. Maybe we can pick up. And have a laugh later on. Yeah, it looks pretty strong, doesn't it? Why is my lantern all aglow? Moths indicate points of interest in umbral. Select your umbral lamp with one and raise it to peer into the umbral. Oh, right. Heh. An umbral entity prevents your progress. That was a nice effect, wasn't it? I gotta do that again. <laughs> Wire, eh? Look at the eye in the middle. So we need to look out for moths like that. Like over here, there's moths. Look. Raise it to traverse paths only accessible. Hey, up, sir. Yeah, we're giving Lords of the Fallen a go. I got sent a copy of it, so. Um, I need to I need to play it. Oh, I like the fact we can walk through that with Umbra, look. Okay, so we have got um multi attacks, so shift and right click. Having a good time being here, and hope you uh, stay happy and safe until I see you next time. Uh, there is also right now some uh, dancing sphere program. You need newer clips. But I'm gonna walk onto here. That didn't look as though that did multi, multi hits. Oh wait, that did, okay. All attacks can be combined to create unique combos including both melee and ranged. Additionally, melee stances can be switched dynamically with the tab to access a wider variety of attacks. Experiment with equipping different melee and ranged weapons, okay. So I, I can go two-handed, one hand with shield. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, that was pretty smart with the multi-attack there. That was pretty cool. Best to switch between one-handed and two-handed stances, each with a unique full set of attacks. Yeah, it looks like we have ranged combos. You're currently on a three-stream streak, Nop, sir. <laughs> yeah, work, not working from home, but watching from home. <laughs> Did I miss any loot there? No. Oh, there's a big picture here. Look, what's this? Can I use... Can I do that? Does it do anything? No. I, it lights up, though, so I can see it.
Okay, let's head on up here. Whoa. The Sanguinarix is your primary healing tool and requires charges. Sorry, and recharges automatically upon reviving. It can be accessed in the quick menu items. Activate pressing R. Other consumables can be found by using the mouse wheel. So it's R to use item, not to reload. I don't need to heal though. Select it, press R to use it. Well I'm not I'm not really hurt. Okay, we've got more more um, moths or butterflies or whatever. Select the lamp, raise it, rift by holding Q. Okay. Beware, you can only exit unbuilt at specific points. Okay. Rift by holding Q to transition to umbral. So if we do, we need to do Q. There's like a hand here, look. There's a hand over there. And I can rift. No. Raise it with going to rift by holding Q to transition. Try that again, will we? Right, so I get my hands back. What's the Q for then? I need to hold Q. Alright, I'm in a different sort of world. So I've gone gone into a different place. Yeah. Lock. So I can soul flay objects, obstacles. Okay. Soul flay the locked on target. Wait. Okay. Yeah, it it looks like so. They they are. Right mouse button to soul flay. Oh, hold on. So I need to soul flay this, so lantern up. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Okay, so I'm still in this world. There's like moths up there, isn't there? There's somebody over there. Lock onto an enemy and soul flight. When an enemy's soul is exposed, attack it to apply wither damage. Attack a withered enemy to inflict a large amount of damage. When an enemy is fully withered, press the left mouse button to tear out their soul.
I'm not sure if I did that right. How do you know if it's fully withered? Can I get through here? Oh, we've got butterflies. There's another soul in there, look. Yeah, it was dead. That's all that really matters, isn't it? Soul flame on the enemy soul consumes a soul flay charge. <coughs> Select your umbral lamp, raise it, then siphon enemies and blisters with left mouse button. Okay. Yeah, we've got none left, so there's some here. So if I... I don't know if it's full up or not. There, that's it full up now. So you can recharge that, okay. Right, we'll try this again. No, wrong key. Well, <laughs> your health was your health receives wither when entering umbral or performs certain actions. Withered health can be recovered by damaging enemies. However, you will lose it all instantly if you're struck. Okay, so we're not allowed to get struck. Is he still alive? He's dead. I want to do these things. No more. There's one up here. Explode the soul brains. <laughs> they do look like brains, don't they? Uh, I could do with another. There. Oh, I got hit. My health's way down. Let me heal up. Okay. Well, I can't do this guy, can I? Oh, I got a drop. There we go. Saintly Quintessence. That one? No. Well fallen. We can do a plunge attack, okay, or we can lock in. Uh, there's purple here, what's that for? Oh, yeah. While an enemy is soul flayed, they can be pushed. So if I soul flay this guy... Hmm, not sure. I don't think that worked, did it?
Maybe I need to be holding the right mouse button down. So I could have pushed them off the edge there, maybe. Did you say anything? No. For long periods, a number will make your presence increasingly known to its inhabitants. The longer you spend a number, the more dangerous the beings who hunt you. Okay. The eye up at the top corner. Whoa. Everything. So, how do you leave Umbro? There's something in there. I can't get through there. Oh, that's the door. That we couldn't get through. Okay, so we should be able to get through there now. Use emergence effigies to emerge from Umbra. Okay, let's go out to here. <laughs> He's all chained up. Okay, so we're back in the normal world. Did that, that said something about kick. Oh there, right. Shift and left click. <coughs> That's pretty. It's, it's very Souls-like, isn't it? It's, it's got a lot of... It just feels very Souls-like. The land and everything. What's this? Vestiges mark places where previous lamp bearers fell. Once activated, these serve as points of revival. Should you, should you die in Umbral. Activated vestiges can be warped between and used to beckon other lamp bearers. Okay, so this is the campfires. Okay, so we can rest, we can upgrade our character, we've got multiplayer. A lot of people said this is the best looking souls like this generation. Okay. Okay, Napsarn. Hope your meeting goes okay. Can we upgrade? Do we have any? Okay, it's, does that mean it's going to cost 1500 and we've got 2000 Okay. So what should we go for? Does it tell us what... It does. Okay, it tells us what it boosts. <coughs> that gives us more attack and also more defense. I might just go for that. 
You can see how much it's taken off. What a place is to go and visit. That look as though I should be over there exploring. What was that? Vestiges, the points of revival. Yeah, okay, I read that. Oh, we've got a map and a journal. Journal. Weather journal, a number of its pages are missing. This journal belonged to Tacticus, a fearless explorer and cartographer who had travelled across the Oathlands and far beyond, eventually venturing into Mornstead only to seemingly never emerge from the kingdom. A map of Mornstead highlighting some of the most significant locations to be found within the ruins. Oh, I can use that, can I? Can I? No? No. Can I use this? No. <coughs> We've got some things here. A rosary. A small inscription. Cleanse the five beacons. Got a throwing hand. Oh, and we've got greetings, look. Same as in um, souls. Increase your radiance to gain further insight. Am I actually using that or wearing it? Okay, so we've got a journal. Here we go. <coughs> this is the map. So I wonder where we are just now. Is that a boss? It's a big dude anyway. Oh no, block. Block by holding shift, but beware, it blocking the enemy attacks withers our health. Strike enemies to restore your withered health, however you will lose it all instantly if you're struck, oh no. Parry attacks by pressing the shift just before impact. An enemy's posture is reduced by any attack, each with its own posture damage. Once posture is depleted, stagger the enemy with a charged heavy attack or parry. A parry or a kick. Deliver a grievous strike to a staggered enemy. You have a nervous tick <laughs> when parry is mentioned. So shift is for both block and parry. Once posture is depleted, okay. Stagger it. With hev uh, heavy attack. Or parry. Parry. Or kick. Grievous strike.
this this may not go well. Did you think I could hit him with my bow to start with? Holy bulwark auto. Oh, that's the wrong key. Ah, it's space bar to dodge, isn't it? Ow. The space bar. What happened? Whoa, whoa. Where is he? Oh, what's going on? <sighs> Must have two lives. I haven't reset the counter for this. What was I was I on eight for um thingy? I need to find a reset. I need to get that reset command set up. Eight is for no Nino Kuni. Um, I can't remember what the. <laughs> I can't remember what commands I set up. Reset deaths. There we go. Still got much more to do, Solo. You got your flamethrower, well that's a big a big bonus. Right. This this wasn't going well, was it? Yeah, I don't know. I think you can just set the number, but I don't know how you set the Um I don't know how you tell which variable. I need to try and set that up. There was a way to do it. I just haven't figured it out. Hey, Arachne. Oh, what's he doing now? Oh, he reset his poise or something, or... I don't think I can read this without breaking apart. Oops. No.
When he gets his weapon stuck in the ground like that, I really need to get in there, don't I? What's that for? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> once you've once you've got the routine down with the uh, I'm getting the uh, who are you? <laughs> Give me that you know it's mine. It helps me sleep at night. Yeah, that's a bit unfair. Having two bosses. Where is he? They meant to die. Yeah, it doesn't count. That was a scripted death. No, oh, we're back here. What's going on? That felt like a scripted death. If you perish a number, all of your current vigor will be dropped at the spot where you died. Yeah. Just like in Souls. So. Yeah, okay. So that was definitely scripted. Nothing here, we didn't get any nice loot or anything. No nice. There's something up there. <coughs> Where do we get up to there? Somebody over there. Umbral parasites can symbolically merge with other creatures, protecting them or granting enhanced power. Siphon parasites to destroy it. Oi. Uh, 
How dare you hit me like that? Sometimes moth indicate that your path is blocked, but there's something in the umbral realm. Okay, so there's something down there that I could possibly get to. Is that not just the way back up, or is that... There is something down there. Okay. <laughs> Who are you? I always wondered if there were others. You're probably thinking that lamp's just a tool to be used as you see fit. Take it lightly, and you'll find it's the other way around. Mark my words. I don't know who you are, and I don't care. But since it seems a deer has you marked, making you a bigger threat to the Rogar serves us both. I've defied the wills of gods and kings. If you know any kind of freedom, you'll do the same. There we can rest here. Can we, um, let's rest. <coughs> I need to get back out of Umbral as well. Oh, I am. I'm out of Umbral now. Okay. Don't know if I missed anything over there. It's more and more. <laughs> Fragments of past events, often traumatic, which occurred in Axum, can appear in Umbral Realm as stigmas. Select your Umbral Lamp. Go and in, transition into Umbral. And soul flat to reveal a fragment of your past. Okay. I need to rift umbra. That's the blue things, obviously, then. Oh, yeah, look. So you can see past his memories there. Here's the thing I spotted from below. Hey, that went through the trees. Hey, righteous boner. Yeah, I'm sure you've been definitely been followed before. <laughs> How are you today? Well, this lets us emerge back out of... There we go.
Well, there's, there's two things here. Look. Oh, I thought I'd got that guy. Obviously not. Oh, hey, don't hit me with your stick. Eating oats for your breakfast like a peasant. Well, I had, um... I did have my porridge this morning. <laughs> Plenty of porridge. Keep me warm. There's somebody there. I just felt there was somebody behind me there, but I was like... Oh, hold on, there... Ah! There is! Nasty dude. Oh, and we've got the caster. Oh, hey, I must have it. I'm surprised I'm managing that parian. I'm usually pretty crap at it. <gasps> chest! I found a chest. A hallowed... Oh, get away! What was that? Oh, it's you, away up there. <laughs> I'm on fire. What was the thing I got given? Just now. What's that? Map of Abandoned. I'm not sure what got given there. No. How do I get up to you? That's what you get for doing that. Katie Parry. Mr. Parry. <laughs> I never did master it in the um, Zelda, did I? <laughs> um I need to shoot that down. Or can I just do this? What was that? What's going on there? Can I do that? No. I might have to just use my bow. Oh, there's somebody here. The staff that didn't want to stop spinning. <laughs> oh, there's somebody in behind here. I can see them. Hey, we've got some more ammunition pouches. So that's good. Are you some? Are you a soldier or something? I can't talk to you though. Oh, look at all the arrows in them. He's definitely dead. Okay. It's Boromir.
it's it's very nice nicely uh, done environments isn't it i am impressed with environments can i walk through here oh i'm on the wrong thing oh there's stuff in there too soon <laughs> Are you still sad at Boromir? <laughs> Did I go in here or anything? Oh, there's somebody in there. How do I get in there? What happened there? Did I get hurt? No. Whoa, whoa. Big doodle. Where is he? You think he he would climb the ladder? Where is he? There. Oh, I missed. Uh, he's not getting... Whoa, 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 whoa. He's got fireworks. <laughs> come on in, up you come. No, not going to come up the ladder. Oh, is that ammunition that's on the bottom bar at the top left? That must be ammunition. The the bull wasn't doing much damage, was it? Can I get over here? Yeah. Oh, I could get over this way now. Could I? Oh, I want in there. Yeah, below the stamina. I think that's your ammo. Right, I want to go in there. I think I should do this. Yeah. Can I not do that? How do I get in there? He's still on the go. Ow, ow, there's somebody else on the go. Yeah, there's a fire caster up there. I'm a fire starter. Get this guy. Ow. I don't know whether to try and go after this big knight. He looks pretty tough. Especially with his fire sword. Am I still in Umbral? Let's go back out. I think we'll just go up this way. I've got quite a lot of soul points. I just knew you were going to be there. I see you as well. Ow.
That's me out of arrows there. Yeah, he destroyed his bed. He wasn't very happy, was he? Yeah, I could really do with getting more ammo. Uh, where's the pouches there? Yeah, that's just a full armor again. Okay. <laughs> eh? Fireball. It's for the multiplayer side, I guess. There's a lot of creaking going on in this bit. Ah. Hey, we can upgrade our character. Yeah. Uh, right, what will we put points into? That just gives me more hit points, doesn't it? A bit more. Might be worth doing that. <coughs> What's endurance give me? Stamina. St stamina's not too bad, really. I might do Vitality. It also gives you a bit more defense as well. <coughs> uh, we're going to rest so we've got full heal packs. It's quite a nice game so far. I'm quite... Um, but there's quite a lot to it. The Umbral thing's a bit different. It's taking a wee bit of getting used to. when to use it and that. Alright, that's that's the inside that bit that I was seeing in the umbral. So what's here? The gate does not budge. It's frozen. I need to ring the bell. Oh. Uh, there's a big fiery thing over there. Oh, there's two guys here. Right? Oh, he hit me. He got me. I guess I have to use an arrow there, don't I? No, take your bow out first. Oh, we've got a ring. We've got a ring. What's the ring do? One of several identical rings eventually operate. It doesn't tell me what it does. Oh, it increases maximum stamina. I didn't even read that first line. Let's put that on. Hey, we got more stamina. Do we go down this way? Yeah, let's go down this way. 
Oh, there's butterflies. Can I go in through here? Okay, so I died, but I came into the umbral area where I was at. <laughs> when I died. So I'm under the water here. Well, that's quite a nice feature, isn't it? The fact that... Um... Oh, I've got lots of mobs coming. I was just half expecting something to happen there. Can I do that? No. I guess I need to use my arrow. No, don't fire again. You idiot. Oh, we've got Pilgrim Hood. Um, um, what's, what's up with the... What's up with the coming through the wall, the bones? Are you going to come through as well? It was. I'm not quite sure how he got through there. I mean, I can't target him through there. Is that a ladder? That's a ladder. Right? Ow. Okay, I can come out of Umbro here. This looks like a bridge that we can knock over. So there's going to be shortcuts the same as in Dark Souls. There's a big doodle down there. Is that where I went? That's where I went. That's the waterway I went down. They always they like having people hiding behind the... I really want to get our way up there. I'm guessing you can. There's another ladder. Got a holy oh we had a pilgrim's helmet, didn't we? Was that better than what we had? No.
We picked up that guard. I don't go any... What was that? Pointed stick. Hey, we've got a pointy stick. A broken sword. Whoa, what sort of place is this? He looks kind of tough. <laughs> Where does this go? <coughs> Just give him a hug. Yeah. Oh, I can't get past here. Can I? No. Will we go see how we get on with him? What could possibly go wrong? Yeah. I wonder if I... I had that thing... <coughs> minor fire salts. I could put that on, couldn't I? He's going to attack me, isn't he? Not that I can target him. No, he's okay. He's friendly. Uh, what's this for again? F. I need to hit F. Fair to... I need to... I need a seed planted here. Dark Skeleton, thank you very much for the follow. So, I, I don't know if I've got a seed. I don't think I do. Do I? What's that do? Increase your inferno and radiance to gain further insight. It doesn't look as though I've got a seed. Oh, what's all this? Oh, look, all the help pages are here. Oh, that's handy, especially for me. <laughs> and that's everything, okay. Uh, so I need a seed for here, so what's that about? You carry the lamp long enough, and you'll see history repeat over and over. If you don't want to keep retreading the same ground yourself, should you fall, make use of this. Ah. This is the guy that came and helped us when we got attacked by the dragon. Because I recognise his hand. The umbral lamp vibrates and emits a special colour when close to an umbral flower bed. Um, press F to grow it. A ver vestige seedling serves as a point of revival should I die. Yeah, Retro was right. Right, let's do this. Let's raise our... Press F. I'm pressing F. There we go. Okay, so these are like mini campfires then for resonant, I thought. And we can warp between them. Okay. <clears throat> oh, there's a ladder. I never noticed that. <laughs> a rare moment. Did I have enough points? Actually, I, no, I didn't have enough points. How many points did I need? Oh, I needed 1882. 
Okay, we're in a new area. I like the waterfall. It's 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 really like Dark Souls in that you spot something away in the distance and you think, I want to get over there and explore there. And everything's very built up on a highness, you know, on a height level, isn't it? Same as in the Dark Souls games. Rather than rather than um, spread out, it's more up and down the way. Oh, look at this place. What on earth is that? That's ribs. Look at all the... I like the fact there's so much damage done to all the buildings and that. There's a lot of detail in the damaged buildings. I heard somebody drawing a weapon. Up in there. Oh, there's a caster up there. <coughs> I want to try out this flamey thing. Why am I getting blue things coming up there? Oh, it's another one of those knights, look. I'm going to go this way. How am I meant to... Do you think it's safe to get that? No! I'm burning! Okay, I got some minor fire salts. So this is sort of a place to get... To replenish your fire salts. Look at that. He was like a giant or something. That burning takes ages to go down, doesn't it? Grant me the strength to continue to endure these dark days. To lay bare the path to salvation for my wayward brothers and sisters. So we may walk it together and to strike down all those who would see our will defied. Even as our suffering continued, I honored my pledge of patience to the Exactor. And yet you now appear before me, a stranger, bearing what was not yours to receive. A betrayal made flesh, and one I cannot brook. Uh oh. Whoa. Um, that wasn't very fair. I uh, um, no. That was a bad moment to do something there. Don't read the chat. <coughs> She's got some mean spells on her.
some very mean spells. Hey, fair. Yeah, it's it's a uh, it is a souls like. Yeah, that's a long range, and that that beam that came out and just killed me on that one. I was just a bit there. Uh, Bit much. Hey, why didn't I heal up yet? I hit the wrong key. Oh, that's a beam again. <laughs> oh. Indeed. Maybe we leave her alone just now and we go elsewhere. <laughs> <coughs> She's very tough. I wouldn't mind really go back and exploring more of this place. Uh, the controls aren't too bad. It's, they're quite reactive. Um, they're, I'm still getting used to them, but... We managed the first boss not too bad, did we? Um, surprisingly for me. I want to go try and get this guy. Alright, oh, he's... Bro, where did the doggy come from? Oops. Souls. Thank you. Oh, he's got his fire weapon on. God damn. Yeah. And he's dead. Yeah, we've got some more ammunition. Can I get these, please? Thank you. Yeah, aye, exactly, yeah, very, just the same. But there's there's an extra thing to this game, um, which makes it a bit more unique. Yeah. You can go into a separate world called the Umbral. And we can see how it looks by holding this lantern up. But you can traverse different areas using you go by going into the umbral version of it. Yeah, there's a little puzzle. You can sort of pull things towards you and that, using your special umbral powers. So it's a bit different. I'm guessing this is going to be very hot going across there. There. Yeah. Okay. Oh, get over there. It's a great looking place. No problem, no problem. <coughs> it looks as though the only place to go is down there, unless we go back and try and level up a bit. 
mean, I've already used a health up. And so I don't really want to go in there. And I can't go and get my souls. What's this? <gasps> we can get somebody to help us. Same as in Dark Souls. Let me go back and rest up and we'll come back and try it again. Put you in. <laughs> Can I go? I'm just going to go for a very quick bio break before we go in again, because otherwise I'll be squirming in my chair. <laughs> okay. <coughs> right, let's go try this again, and we'll summon this time. Oops. Wait. Summon. Okay. I presume he's going to be there helping us. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely alert command. Maybe the maybe the bot's not working. Um, oh, it's it's cut in the hut. Maybe cut in the hut is not working. Um, chat. What's it called? Cut in chat. No, what is it? Ah. Yeah, so cut, the cut in chat's not working. Let me restart it up. Because it says you're away playing with the cats, doesn't it? Well, that's not working still. Well, there's... Right, we're back with cat and chat. There we go. Cat and chat was on its holiday. Well, I presume we've we've um, got this guy helping us. Oh, holy! Well, why is it not letting us skip at this time? Oh, there. Bye. Oh, there. Look. In the end, you're better off alone. Can we see his health? Oh, we can see his health there. Yeah. It's not really helping me any. I saw crap at it. Oh, he killed. She killed him. No, she didn't. Right. She's got wings now. Whoa. Bro. Maybe some rocks can win. Nah. I think we're going to be leaving that boss. For... But at least you can summon to help you out, so I like that. <laughs> I 
Maybe I've missed an area. I didn't explore the whole of the before here, so. I should probably just go back this way, Kaiser, and, and explore here, really. Uh, I'll keep going here for about another half hour, hour and then I'll maybe move on to another game. Okay. I have a, I have some more games to do first, looks on. You got to have your dinner? Okay, no problem. There's a castle up there. We never went down this way to explore. Is that... Oh, that's the water bit that we came out of, wasn't it? Before. And there's the gallows that we were at. Okay, let's just go up and round and see what we can find. Somebody missed him. Oh, and my partner. It is 10 o'clock. <coughs> She's at her work, so. Does a sound come from somewhere here? I'm not sure. What are you? Are you you're to come out of Umbral, aren't you? Whoa! Still on fire. Yeah, this was the safe, the, the resting, but I might just do it while we're here. We don't know how to get through that gate yet. Watching them from behind. Yeah. I don't know how to sneak up really. But. Hey, what do we get there? A delirium fragment. I was really trying to get down into... a different area. Just had a feeling there was somebody else there. There is, like... Come on, Anne. Manage to par it. So you get a really good big blow if you manage to par it. Hey, we've got an axe. Is that a better axe than what we're using? Where did it go? It's there. I can't use it. Oh, 
he's um I need to use that. Out of stuff. I didn't manage to steal his soul. Uh, I need to go into um, Umbral. There he goes. I need to top that up again. Yeah, it's big. It's, it's it's very different from a dark from a normal Dark Souls game, especially with this um, Umbral. I am enjoying it. I like the the environments are great. Maybe I should go down here. Ah, we can pull this over. Um, is it that one? That one. Oops. It's that one. No, don't fall down. You've never played the Dark Souls, no? <clears throat> you just you've not to get bothered by dying. That's that's the main thing you have to overcome. Um, dying is all part of a Souls game. That just pushes that back up again, doesn't it? We've got Umbral Eye of the Betrayed. Whatever that's for. Was there any other way out of here? There was. Look. Seen Dark Souls gameplay and yeah, tons of death. Yeah. You just it's it you have to just not think that that really matters. Because it's you practicing, basically. It's different because of this, the umbral and, and the fact you've got, you have to manipulate the land uh, more to get past certain areas. Um, um, that's all very different. Um, the alternate plane, basically, that you're traversing to solve some of the the areas. Where am I here? Am I? Alright, oh, yeah. Right, we're just gonna go back up this way. So I don't know how to get through this door just now. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's, there's like, it's a puzzle on it. Um, Oh, they disappeared. <laughs> I didn't get to do them. The more you, the longer you stay in this alternate world, the more things attack you. It's casters. Oh no. Doing well here. <laughs> I guess I come back alive once. Usually. No, not this time. I must have died too many times. Right. Um, I'm just wondering whether to. Uh, well, I'll go get I'll go get those my gems back, and then we'll. Get rid of the caster for starters. Oops. I got my souls back. There's something in here, look. It, things respawn as well. Um, you know how when you pick up things in Dark Souls, that's them usually gone. Um, those, like, those fire salts respawn. So if you know where to collect them from, you can always replenish. And you don't need to go to like a shop and use your souls up to buy yeah. As you can tell I'm not very good at these but... I mean I do enjoy playing them so. I was trying to parry him, I didn't manage. Don't you fling your flamies at me. I don't know how, how many points do we need to get level up? Well, we could go and level up. Why don't we go and do that? There's like, there's secret areas under here. If you go into the umber world, you can walk under the water. You can use this to see where you, where you could possibly go. So it's definitely got some nice little additional things. Yeah, let's upgrade. Um, I think... I'm inclined to go with agility, really. <coughs> um, right, I think I will leave that one there. Um, I'm going to pick a different, another game to have a look at. Um. <coughs> so I still have a couple more that I can stream this morning. <coughs> 